Deuteronomy chapter 13, If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and give you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not hearken to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God proves you to know whether you love the Lord your uh, your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice, and you shall serve him and cling to him, and that prophet or dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust you out of the way which the Lord your God commanded you to walk in. So shall you put the evil away from the midst of you if you, your brother, the brother of your mother, or your son or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend which is as your own soul, entice you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, you nor your fathers, namely of the gods of the people which are round about you, near to you, or far off, far off from you, from one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth. You shall not consent to him, nor hearken to him, neither shall your eye pity him, Neither shall you spare, neither shall you conceal him, but you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people, and you shall stone him with stones that he die, because he has sought to thrust you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, and all shall hear and fear and shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you. If you shall hear say in one of your cities, which the Lord your God has given you to dwell there, saying, Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, then shall you inquire and make search and ask diligently and behold, if it be truth and the thing certain that such abomination is wrought among you, you shall surely smite the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly and all that is therein and the cattle thereof with the edge of the sword. And you shall gather all the spoil of it into the midst of the street thereof and shall burn with fire the city and all the spoil there of every wit for the Lord your God, and it shall be a heap forever. It shall be, it shall not be built again, and there shall cling nothing of the cursed thing to your hand that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion upon you and multiply you as he has sworn to your fathers. When you shall hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, to keep all his commandments, which I command you this day, to do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord your God.